He's now undergoing treatment for some other injuries. That is incredible. A police car in Madison, Wisconsin received a colorful upgrade to bring attention to autism. A number of puzzle pieces were painted onto the squad car along with the word autism awareness. The officer who requested the design says she got the idea after seeing a similar looking police car while working with the Special Olympics. The department says this police car is the third of its kind in the state. To the big talkers now, and we begin with a timely topic, having just celebrated Easter, the afterlife, and some new insight into just what people think about what happens when life ends. Researchers in England surveyed adults about their beliefs when it comes to life after death, and they found that fully half of people believe that the end is not the end. 50% say they actively believe in some form of heaven. Of that group, 60% say everyone experiences the very same thing when they get to great beyond, regardless of their religious beliefs while alive. But people about, uh, they're concerned about getting there. 55% say they think they've lived well enough life to merit getting into heaven. 58% admit to being a bit worried that their life choices may result in them, you know, going to the other place. Overall, one in four think people go to either heaven or hell. 16% believe they'll exist in a spiritual realm, and the same amount think they'll be reincarnated, coming back as something else to live life once again. I thought this was interesting. 45% believe their pets will end up in the same place that they will. Maybe the dogs got a lot riding on how well we be pain. The worst start of my career there is a beautiful state, but the winters are rough. Can you imagine being out no, there? No, we can't. No. In, in the outhouse in particular. I know. Uh, because uh, he might be a hard time. No. It's having a hard time selling uh, for a special person who doesn't like people. Let's get another check on the roads tonight. Jessica Boyd is in the Action News Traffic Center with an update. You'd have no commute. You know, but you don't know want that would be unless you were in a boat. That right. Be, right. That would be it. That might take you a while sometimes, too. Uh, guys, well, if you're on 95, everything's taking you a while right now. Northbound, right around 320. We still are watching this crash. It's off into the right hand shoulder now, so that's good. But just a couple of minutes ago, they shut down the highway completely to get everybody off to the right hand shoulder. So now we have a lot of that residual delay really slow moving northbound there. 95 near the stadium area and moving southbound just past Broad Street. There's a disabled vehicle up ahead. That's why we're seeing big delays here. So it's been affecting a little bit heading to the airport. You have a flight to catch, adding extra time to your commute. So you want to get out the door a little bit earlier, especially if you uh, do have a flight or something like that to catch. Watching uh, the Google Expressway here, still protected in here. Thankfully, it's out of the left-hand lane where it was when we first saw it. Uh, but now it's off to the right-hand shoulder, westbound, just around Belmont. Causing pretty big drive times. A second ago, this was at one mile per hour. That's a very rare to see it like that. Uh, it was very moving by the scene. Now we're at about six miles per hour, 43 minutes for that total drive time. Moving from the Vine all the way up to the Blue Route there at a 43-minute trip. Speaking of the Vine, we had two accidents on it a little earlier. One eastbound around 8th Street, one westbound around Broad, and now we're pretty much gridlock both directions. Additionally, I just showed you that Google Expressway accident. We're seeing a big westbound delay on the Vine. There's all of that westbound traffic on the Google approaching that accident. It's just kind of spiraling. So now we have big delays pretty much everywhere. Brian and Perry, back over to you. Not looking for it. No, we're going to talk about heaven and hell. No, we're going to talk about heaven and hell. We're going to talk about heaven and hell. We're going to talk about heaven and hell. For sure. Thanks, Jessica. Still ahead. Another check on the forecast. Talk to Adam Joseph with your seven-day forecast. Come up next. Big Talkers is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. Visit Kia.com to discover a movement that inspires. The Leap of Faith. Some hesitate, but not you. You don't ask what happened. You embrace what's next on open arms. You don't question your decision. You double down.
Beautiful day out there today. We've got a forecast that we think is going to make you smile. You're going to like the weekend. Yeah. Meteorologist Adam Joseph joining us live again from home with the details. Hey, Adam. Yeah, the weekends don't always work out where it's the, one of some of the best weather on the seven day, but for one of the days, it will be this go around. Take a look at this picture. Friday Pete sent it into our social media pages from Doylestown of Pont Hill Castle there in Doylestown. You can see the beautiful flowers in the foreground and the deep blue sky in the background. Doylestown, one of those places that will get some frost later tonight, but it's not going to disrupt those beautiful daffodils. So yes, another cool night ahead. More clouds and sunshine for tomorrow, and babies coming in here for part of the upcoming weekend. Oh, that sounds nice compared to these temps right now, but without much of a wind this afternoon. These upper 50s feel pretty good in the direct sunshine. 55 in Pottstown, 57 Chats, Ford and Media. To the south and east, upper 50 here, Hamilton, Cinnamonson, and Claymont, Delaware, 58 in Abstecon, and the ocean temperature at 51. As we look at the calendar here for the month of April, now at the end of last week when we got to that Saturday the 16th, we were running close to three degrees above normal for the month. We put a big dent in the lab, the indent in that the last four days with highs in the low 50s lows in the 30s, so basically the month evening out to near normal at this point. Satellite radar high pressure with all that sunshine, and there you can see that change coming in for tomorrow. That rain will fall apart for the most part, but more clouds will be coming in with the warm front during your Thursday afternoon. For tonight, mainly clear and some frost in those north, northeastern Wednesday of next week. The exclusive weather seven day forecast. 66 is not as bright tomorrow. A little sunshine in the morning clouds in the afternoon. 72, beautiful Friday, a dip in Saturday with a cooler wind and clouds. 80, a big jump with sunshine Sunday. 70s to start next week. A nice few showers Tuesday and Wednesday as those low, as those high, as you should say, drop back to 60 on the Wednesday. So we're seeing that ups and downs, and that's not going to be over the next seven days. Spring around here, I guess. Okay. Uh, Adam, thanks. And then we're actually just coming up for you. Do you dream of having a new, more stylish shower to relax in? Are you sick and tired of climbing over that old, outdated tub just to take a shower, but you don't know where to start? Well, Rick is here from PJ Fitzpatrick to help out. Rick, what is PJ Fitzpatrick doing for our neighbors right now? Mark, the first step is we come to your house for a free income design consultation and walk you through all the options. We've been helping people get the best of their dreams for years now. We're really the local experts at tub to shower conversions. Well, that's great. So what are some concerns that your customers have? Well, why are people deciding for you? One of the big concerns is safety. Did you know that the bathroom can be one of the more dangerous rooms in your home? And most falls occur getting in and out of the shower. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, safety should be a concern at any age. Accessibility is really important for folks who want to maintain their independence and live in their own homes. So what are some things people can do to make sure they're safe when they Maybe you want to convert your old tub into a shower with a low threshold. One that's easy to get in and out of. You'll get slip resistant floors for safety. It's in our region, in fact, in America. Uh, just 30 minutes outside Philadelphia, you'll find chances there. It's part of America's garden capital. Action news photojournalist Taha takes us there.
impact uh, environmentally, economically, and we just want to make sure that the people in this region are really tapping into all of the great resources that the gardens provide. Anything we can do to, to make it a great visit, um, that's what I think helps improve the city. That was great. I needed that. I